Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So another 6040 video, but this video is not about the machine. This video is about air assist. So what I ran across is a lot of people have these air assist <clears throat> and we don't actually run the uh, siphon hose for our air mist. I mean, for a coolant mist, we just run the air to blow the chips out of the way. So you're not recutting chips. And some of the tricks you do is you remove this piece, uh, the little center piece. Inside here is uh, the valve, the siphon valve. And the hose goes all the way up through the center and it comes out the end, like so. And one of the first things I did was remove the hose. You have this hole, so you can cap the whole tape, whatever. And inside is your little valve here. And you can see it's got some flat spots on it. And that's where the air comes around. And then the coolant comes out the center. So, one of the first things we do is remove this guy. You can't see me doing it right now, but I'm unscrewing it. So we remove this guy and toss it. And there's really no need to have this back on there because it's just hollow. And this piece will screw directly on to the end of the pipe. Now the pump that I'm using, let me walk around here, is the Vivasone 50 watt pump. And it comes with the little four in one manifold. <clears throat> it's got the little big hose here. And the manifold takes a quarter inch line. So not knowing, I just plumbed it into my tractor feed line all the way down to the bottom of the machine. So I've used it this way for, God, <clears throat> probably two years now. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a couple of videos here of some sawdust that I've got laying here. And I'm going to set this at a certain height. And I'm going to turn this on with the hose in place. And then I'm going to turn it on with all the guts removed. And then I'm going to show you how to supercharge this pump. How to make it really work good. So let me get some stuff set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I got set up here is... A little block here, just one of my soft valves. And I'm gonna hold this. Now this is the complete setup, like you buy it. So I'm gonna hold this at about the same height as this block. And I'm gonna turn the air pump on. And then we're gonna see how much it, it blows the sawdust. Okay, let's try that again. Oops, I bumped the camera. Let's try to blow it directly in the center. About the same height. And go. Alright, so we've probably got about a two inch circle there. So now, Let's reset this. And we can remove all the little guts out of here. out so we got this piece here take it out and and drop the tip over here so let's bolt the tip back on so this is the standard mod the tube has gone out of the center so let's hold it about that high and hit the button. Okay, 
So that shows us we've got now about a three and a quarter, three and a half inch little circle here. So what I found out was when I had the manifold that I had the hose that's on here is this diameter here. And we can measure that to be 285 thou inside diameter. Well, I wanted to move my pump and I didn't have this size hose to move the pump, but I had this. And this fits the pump directly. And it is that is uh, 265 thou diameter. So when I went to put that on there, I decided to drill the brass fitting out of the pump to 203 thou. I think that's 1364. I don't know what size it is, but anyway, it's 203 thou. So I drilled the brass fitting inside the pump. And I ended up being able to put this line directly onto this hose here. So let me hook, the, hook it onto the pump. So now I've gotten rid of the manifold, which sets it down from basically the quarter inch to, or golly, that's almost three eighths, to the uh, eighth or three sixteenths tube. So let's get rid of all this. So now we're gonna run this pump through the larger hose in the drilled fitting. Get ready to hit the button and go. That is a major difference. I mean, that's uh, 12 inches. Once again, so that went to a good 11 and a half inch diameter. So that's considerably more airflow through the larger tube and the drilled fitting without the insides in the pump, in the uh, hose. So anyway, I thought you guys would wanna see that. If you're running the small hose, I would probably suggest that you step up to the larger hose. Like I said, the outside diameter is 380. So it's 10 millimeter outside diameter. The inside diameter. So there's one, two, 250, two, 260,000 inside. So it's a true quarter inch inside diameter tubing that will fit over the quarter inch nipple. Drill the nipple out to the biggest size that you can get before you break in, break through the brass. And there you go, got a uh, supercharger air assist. So I hope this video helps. If you uh, feel like sharing it to your social media or to friends that have the same air assist on their machine, I'd appreciate it. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell for notification when I upload more videos. Thanks for watching.